post op of healing from my deep plane neck lift. At number 10, Kenny Rogers. The country music singer decided he needed to change up his appearance a bit, but in the end, it turned out to be a bigger change than he was expecting. Rogers decided to make a change to his appearance after a performance on The Tonight Show. In his book, Luck or Something Like It, he wrote that this is when he began to become aware of his professional image and felt it was necessary to make a change in order for him to stay relevant and thrive in his career. In the late 90s, Rogers underwent several procedures, but the one that made him the most unrecognizable was his eyelid lift. In 2006, he told people that he wasn't pleased with the results of his eye job, saying, I'm not happy about it. Rogers then mentioned his hopes in getting it fixed, saying, they're too tight around the eyelids for me, it drives me crazy. If we can fix that, then I'll be glad I did it. If we can't fix it, I'll regret it or get used to it. Turns out he ended up regretting it, because in 2012, Rogers said, I had the money to do it and I had time off and I regret that. But the truth is, I don't know what I would have looked like if I hadn't done it. At number 9, Laura Flynn Boyle. The Twin Peaks actor was recently spotted at her home right around her 53rd birthday, taking out the trash. People couldn't help but point out how unrecognizable Boyle has become with every new altercation she makes to her face. She's never come out and actually confirmed that she has gone under the knife, but it doesn't take a doctor to know that she has had some work done. People first began to notice Boyle's cosmetic enhancements in the early 2000s as her lips appeared to be plumper and her skin looked smoother. Then in 2006, an expert said he believed that Boyle had gotten a rhinoplasty, lip augmentation, facial fillers, a brow lift, and a facelift. 2006 was a long time ago, but it appears that she has just continued to get more work done and add procedures since then. Boyle never really needed to do as much work as she has, but it's clear that the actor likes to change it up, and when she does, she goes big. Honestly, I think Boyle started with the cosmetic enhancements way too young in an attempt to fight the natural aging process, but as a result has only had to continually update and make a adjustments as the time goes by. Looking back at her early days of acting, Boyle is almost unrecognizable today. At number 8, Priscilla Presley. She has changed up her style many different times throughout her life, but along with her fashion, she has also changed up her face. Of course, everyone is going to look different with age, but reportedly, Presley had an unfortunate run-in with an unlicensed plastic surgeon, Dr. Daniel Serrano. He allegedly had several other high-profile clients as well, including Larry King's wife. It turns out that the so-called expensive European silicone that Serrano was injecting his clients with was actually industrial grade silicone from Argentina. It didn't take long for Serrano to be caught, but not before several of his clients developed issues after his misleading treatments. Serrano was brought up on federal charges for his actions and he pled guilty to several of the charges in 2006. He was sentenced to and has since served an 18 month sentence in federal prison. He may have served his time for the crime, but his clients on the other hand, including Presley will have to live with the aftermath of their botched surgeries for far longer than 18 months. At number 7, Mickey Rourke. He's an actor and former boxer who appeared in Sin City, Angel Heart, and The Expendables, to name a few of his films. Rourke's face has quite literally completely changed since his start in Hollywood, and apparently it's all thanks to his days as a professional boxer. When he talked about his experience with plastic surgery, Rourke said, Most of it was to mend the mess of my face because of the boxing. This makes sense, I mean getting repeatedly hit in the face is bound to eventually have an effect on the way you look. The actor continued on explaining, but I went to the wrong guy to put my face back together. Rourke has also shared that he has had his nose broken twice with five operations on his nose and one on a smashed cheekbone. In 2015, it came out that Rourke was undergoing more surgeries to fix his nose and to get new dental implants. At this point, the actor has had so much work done, he doesn't even look real. Rourke's face is so stretched and smooth and artificial, you can tell his face has been put through the ringer more than once. I think the only thing worse than needing to fix your face in the first First place from fighting would be the result being worse than what needed fixing in the first place. At number 6, Kim Basinger. There is no hiding that the actor has had her fair share of work done over the years. Not long ago, Basinger was spotted attending her daughter, Ireland Baldwin's baby shower, and she was looking smoother than ever. At 69, she rolled up to the party without a wrinkle in sight. Basinger has never really touched on whether or not she has had any work done, but at this point, it's pretty obvious. In 2012, Ireland referred to her mom as being naturally beautiful and said she has never had anything done before, but clearly at some point with 
within the last 10 years, eating healthy and working out just wasn't keeping the wrinkles away anymore. Over the years, along with keeping her skin tight and smooth, Basinger seems to have had her nose, lips, and her cheeks done. Looking at pictures from earlier in her career and now, you can see that her cheeks have become a lot more prominent, which really changes her entire face. The latest pictures of Kim at Ireland's baby shower make it look like there is really no part of her face untouched. Plastic surgeon Dr. Tillo weighed in on Basinger and he even suggested that she has received Botox, derma fillers, and even possibly laser treatments for her skin. As Basinger gets older, she only becomes harder to recognize. At number 5, Janice Dickinson. She boasts that she was the world's first supermodel, but since then she has made quite a lot of changes to her appearance. Dickinson has admitted to having a facelift, tummy tuck, facial fillers, and botched breast implants over the years. In fact, the model actually got her implants fixed on the TV series called Botched. Unfortunately, her desire to change her appearance ended up costing her. In 2013, Dickinson was forced to file for bankruptcy. I'm sure there were other factors, but allegedly most of the money she owed was to cosmetic surgeons. Along with paying for her procedures in actual money, she also paid in terms of her career success. Unfortunately, models can't work forever. With the toxic fashion industry combined with Dickinson's age and her overdone face, not to mention her often difficult attitude, a lot of her opportunities have dried up. At this point, her name and that attitude are the things that have stayed the most similar over the years. Dickinson also had breast cancer in the past and following her diagnosis, she told Entertainment Tonight, if I had to play my life over again, I would have never gotten breast implants in the first place. At number 4, Jocelyn Wildenstein. She is a Swiss socialite known for her high profile divorce from her billionaire husband, her extravagant lifestyle that led to her filing for bankruptcy, and of course her extensive cosmetic surgery, which has left her looking an awful lot like a cat. Jocelyn appears to have had multiple procedures done to literally every part of her face, from her forehead to her neck, nothing has been left untouched. The craziest part about her cosmetic surgeries is that she's denied ever going under the knife and insists that she's always looked pretty much the same. As recently as 2018, Wildenstein sat down with the Daily Mail and after being asked if she had ever gone under the knife, she said no. Especially when I look back at my pictures, I think of course maybe I'm more beautiful back then. When we are young, there's a certain freshness we lose with the years. But you still find the same eyes, same high cheeks, and same nose. Sorry Jocelyn, but that is just straight up lying because there is just seriously no way. Even her fiance doubled down and said she never really did anything to change her face. I have pictures from 16 years old where she looks exactly the same as today. Her claims aside, a friend of Jocelyn told Vanity Fair in 1998, I don't think I've known her when she wasn't healing from something. Believe whichever side you want, but to me, the latter seems far more realistic. At number 3, Joan Rivers. The late comedian had two things she was really well known for, making people laugh and getting plastic surgery. Rivers even once joked, I've had so much plastic surgery, when I pass they will donate my body to Tupperware. Her first surgery is believed to have been an eye lift at 32. In the years following, Rivers had, among other things, two facelifts, a nose job, and so much Botox that her plastic surgeon would send her away. In 2007, she shared, he will say, you don't need anything, go home. The comedian said she got Botox every five or six months, once even admitting she wished she had a twin so she could see how she would have aged without it. Rivers apparently was never happy with the way she looked, investing tons of money into the procedure. Rivers has said, my motto is better a new face coming out of an old car than an old face coming out of a new car. Spend your money on you. She got so bad that once her daughter Melissa staged a surgery intervention. Melissa told Anderson Cooper at one point, I started to think the risk outweighed the reward, so I wanted my mom to know how I felt about it and I made myself fairly clear. Following Rivers passing, her daughter published a memoir as a tribute to her mother's life and in it she reveals that over her life, Rivers had a total of three 348 cosmetic procedures. At number 2, Liam Payne. The most recent celebrity left unrecognizable after a very unnecessary cosmetic procedure is Liam Payne. The singer looked pretty much the same from his days on The X Factor until the beginning of this year, but now you might need to do a double take. In March, his former bandmate Louis Tomlinson had a premiere for his new documentary called All of Those Voices. After seeing Payne's new face, people were not talking about the movie. All of a sudden, Payne's cheekbones are 
are very pronounced and his jawline is extremely chiseled. Immediately fans noticed he had work done and started comparing the plastic surgery to the popular handsome Squidward from Spongebob. Payne never said what specifically he had done but people online seem to believe he might have had chin filler or jumped on the latest buckle fat removal trend. One person tweeted, I see Liam Payne got the Zac Efron special, while another said Liam Payne buckle fat removal was not on my 2023 bingo card. I don't know why the star would decide to undergo such an appearance altering procedure but oh boy does he look different. I think the worst part is he's aged himself a lot with the procedure so I'm curious to see how he looks in a decade at 40. And at number one, Lil' Kim. Over the years, Lil' Kim has seriously undergone a massive transformation. She has been hearing criticism and judgment surrounding her face since the beginning of her career, and in 2005 on a radio show, she explained that she had her nose broken by her ex-boyfriend in a physical confrontation. Kim revealed that she had to fix her nose multiple times for that same reason. Her initial surgeries were the result of a horrible situation, but Kim has also admitted to getting more surgeries over the years by her own choice due to her own insecurities. Over the years, Kim has admitted to a nose job, cheek implants, lip injections, breast implants, and more. Lil' Kim appeared recently at the 2023 Grammys, continuing to look unrecognizable as she performed. I don't think there is a part of her face or body that hasn't been worked on, and at this point, in every photo I see of her, she looks so done up, she looks animated. Comparing Lil' Kim in the 90s to Lil' Kim now is like night and day. If you didn't already know they were the same person, you might think they were two totally different people. I honestly am in awe at how many different versions of the rapper's face there have been, and she does not seem to be slowing down anytime soon. That was the top 10 botched celebrities that you will not recognize anymore. Did I miss any unrecognizable stars? Let me know who in the comments below. I've been your host, Maddie, and I will catch you next time for another Top 10 Countdown.